Hi and welcome back to Basic Bananas TV. Today I'm here with Suzanne who is our head facilitator at Basic Bananas and we're going to share with you why happiness is the new productivity. So maybe do you want to share a little bit about how this concept came about and then we give them some actionable tips. Yep, definitely. So I think what's really exciting about this is there's been some really good research that's been coming out of Harvard University. So um, it's a really good book if you haven't read it. It's called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Accor. And what this research showed was that they looked at who was really successful and who was really productive. And they found that it wasn't the people that necessarily worked the hardest. It wasn't the people who set the biggest goals, but more importantly, it was people that were truly happy. And they started looking at, well, what's the definition of success and how can you redefine it in a way that you are more productive? And that's when they found out that people who were more happier actually were getting better results. And they looked at you know, a whole host of things from sales, increasing the ability to make sales, getting things done right the first time yeah. and a few other areas. So there was sort of, from this research, they found that there were three key things that these really successful people yeah. did. And it makes so much sense mm -hmm. to share this when Suzanne and I discussed this earlier. I thought it makes so much sense to share this with small businesses and entrepreneurs because mm -hmm. we really have the power to use these principles, these three core principles that we're about to share with you in our own businesses, whether it's uh, a small business with just you or whether you have team members. You can use these principles amongst your team and I think they're really valuable. So what is the first Key core principle. So the first one is key all core. That's key a little core. bit of a double thing, isn't it? I like it. It's important. It's not so good. <laughs> two, <laughs> so the, two and two make negative, but let's just go with let's core principle. With core principle number <laughs> one is get grateful. And here's the thing with gratitude: a lot of people do gratitude in a way that doesn't really make an impact. So sitting down and writing things like "I'm so happy and grateful for my house, for my business." isn't really the best way to do it. So what they're saying is you want to get really specific with your gratitude. So sitting down and thinking of something new and there's a really cool 21 day challenge that you can do with gratitude where every day you're to come up with three things that you're grateful for but you're not allowed to repeat them. So you've got to come up with something new each day. And the reason why this is so key is because it trains your brain to look for more opportunities. And if you've got a brain that's looking for more opportunities, it's going to make you more productive and more effective in your business. So that's number one. That's so brilliant. Gratitude. And then number two is about movement. And mm. it's about having a daily ritual where you somehow move your body. And that can be even just walking maybe to your office if you have an office, or it can be walking to grab a, a coffee. So it could be walking, or it could be if you like swimming, it could be swimming, or it could be running, or it could be, some people love going to the gym. Yeah. So it could be going to the gym. Just do something that you enjoy it. And one of the key things here is, you know, sometimes we do stuff just because we think we, we need to do it because it makes us healthy. Like, go, like for example, going to the gym. I'm, I'm not really a gym person, so I, I avoid the gym, but I try to find things that I really enjoy doing because that way I do something that actually is fun to do and I know I can stay fit and happy at the same time. So, so my choice of doing stuff is surfing, yoga and beach walking or beach running so those are probably my three main things that i enjoy doing or or hiking in the forest and so just choose something that that you like to do and, and it, it will be easier to do it yeah and what you're saying is key because it's not just about re-energizing yourself through movement but doing something that genuinely makes you happy so exactly if you, if you hate the gym don't go to the gym go pick something else like surfing or whatever you yeah, like Yeah, anything or yep. team sports or whatever you enjoy doing i'm sure there's something you can find What's the third principle? The third one is random acts of impactfulness. So I love the, that. What the heck is a random act of impactfulness? Uh, I don't know, but you can explain. <laughs> no, I do know, but I love, I, love, I love that. So what it is, it's about doing something, even if it's a small thing, doing something every day that makes a positive impact on somebody else. Now, what's really cool about this, they found that people who said, I don't have time for this, when they actually took the time to do something, whether it was just sending a two sentence email to their staff members or you know, buying their friend a coffee, whatever it was, they found that those who were doing good for others were actually performing at a higher level. So that's why we want to do something that impacts in a positive way because not only will it make you feel better, but it makes other people feel better. And that energy is what makes you more productive. I love that so much. And what we do is, Suzanne and I, we also have a, a, a website where we help people make that easier because we understand the importance of having a, an impact as much as you can. So I'll put a link in below the video where you can go and you can get a whole list of ideas. There's over 300 ideas of how you can have a little positive 
the act of impactfulness. So let's ha I'll, I'll put it in the show notes yeah, definitely. below. And as always, if you enjoy this video, if you get a lot of value out of it, which I hope you do, please share it with anyone that you think would benefit from this from this tip and if you like it like it on all the social channels and yeah that's it for now maybe what you can do is let us know how you make sure that when you are being busy or being an entrepreneur and, and certainly you probably are busy how do you keep your happiness levels up so that you can be more productive you might have some other other ideas that we want to know you can share those below too so we'll see you on the next one all right